ready to go for part four ready to put this thing to work but before anything else i have to fix these big capacitors you see this one here and i have another one here to fix them in place look this one okay so to fix them in place and uh, i'm gonna use some of this glue this is a uh, kind of rubber leather glue it's very nice because it's really elastic you see this is very elastic and uh, I saw it so many times uh, fixing in place big capacitors like this one and look here That should be perfect. A little bit more. This is even better for this purpose than uh, hot glue because it's elastic and uh, it's uh, dumping the vibrations and all the other stuffs. Anyway, this machine will be hanging on the wall so there will be no mechanical stress but anyway it's good to have that fixed so let's have a test about uh, how much energy it's taking in uh, standby mode to have an idea about how much it consumes by itself so i have my emitter here 170 milliamps with the fan on the standby current is like 77 milliamps that means 1.5 watts well i can call it a pretty reasonable one let's see when the display is turning off and let's see if the display is turning off i mean the, the light behind the display okay finally I, it feels like two minutes or something it's not exactly turning off but dimming the light after two minutes nice hello again the last part of the do-it-yourself uh, NPPT solar charge controller I have my batteries down there 12 volts batteries and they are pretty discharged or depleted as you can see I have this on the wall already I had the battery connected and now I'll I turn it on because I have a fuse over here cross fingers there we go so the MPPT it's starting normally what we got to do now is to check from this menu up LCD okay 12.1 output okay okay D00 24 hours this is good then we have D01 13.8 this is the floating charging value D02 14.5 this is the maximum voltage for the battery maybe yeah D03 that means 10 volts it will be disconnecting and finally here I have to press 00, zero. that's for acid batteries that's the default for uh, lead acid and we are ready to go 14.5 I don't like this maybe I should put it to 14.4 enter okay so next I'm going to use my uh, solar panels for the uh, inverter here. So I'm going to have around 34, maybe 40 volts or something. More, I have more than uh, 900 watts, but it doesn't really matter because it will be just a test to see if this MPPD charger is really delivering 60 amps as they advertise to my batteries well I just simply tied this to these connectors 
normally I should use a resistor to have the capacitors charged before but now let's do it like this and there we go look over there we have 51 amps 49 it was 51 a few seconds ago let me put it higher I can say that it's working nice let's check this with my ammeter with my clamp meter it does a 51 amps for a few seconds this one shows me 12.6 from the panels 12.6 amps from the panel and we should have 34.2 this is perfect this is so perfect there is no heating the fan it's not even twerking well people I can say this is a great success yeah it's working I have like almost 50 volts input 500 watts and I don't see any problem 50 volts input this is the temperature 30 degrees okay so by the book the fan will start working when the temperature it's uh, reaching more than 45 degrees Celsius the protection starts working when uh, we reach 75 degrees what else what I can say the machine is working great there is no problem with handling 35 amps and we have the battery voltage there 14.5 let's check that out so this is my battery terminals here 14.22 in the system that's pretty okay the ammeter there it's working absolutely nice let's check it again so the machine is saying 34 amps now it's going down because the sun is hiding in the clouds a little bit 22.2 22.6 look there absolutely perfect well guys that's it I hope it's useful now the display light it's turning almost off so I don't know if it's turning off but uh, after a few minutes as you can see it's dimming it's dimming the the backlight all I can say for now it's working great once again we have like 32.2 volts input and 280 because the Sun is hiding in the clouds so everything is fine that's the end of the project the machine is on and working as it should there is no problem with heating so far 33.6 degrees that's nothing we are charging constantly with 18 19 20 amps let me disconnect this a while okay the sunshine is back let's see now if we have a peak of something yeah 44 40 amps we had a peak but it's looking like the batteries are in a pretty good shape so they didn't ask too much current I saw in the beginning a 51 amps peak as you can see it's running constantly without problem 30 40 okay go 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 42 amps well I'm pretty sure it's capable of more so that's the end of the project hope it's useful please like and subscribe also I like to see your comments here if there is anything I can uh, I can do if you need any information or uh, anything else about this uh, beautiful project let me know I'll be happy to answer and glad to help don't forget to have fun be safe and see you with some other projects bye bye